so hey guys assalamu alaikum i am here mohammad wasif kohar from art by wasif so it's my first video in which i will be teaching you some basics of photoshop uh, so here is a quick look so first of all file menu new uh, shortcut key control plus n for windows so when you are going to open any new page or document uh, the one thing which you have to keep uh, in your mind is that while selecting the width and height of the document I will select uh, if in I select in pixels I will select mostly uh, 2000 by 1600 pixels or if I select in inches it comes 6 by oh, 10 inches and width and height doesn't matters matters the only thing is resolution resolution is that if uh, uh, let me show you something uh, if i can keep resolution 300 uh, so this is the document uh, i will write any text here making his phone enlarge okay so here is the text okay i will zoom it and yes after zooming this much pixels are okay okay now i will create a new window and will set resolution to 72 okay uh, you are saying same is the sheet size uh, i will write text as in the previous window massive now after zooming it see its resolution its pixels are not that clear as compared to uh, this window this is the effect of resolution because the resolution of that window of uh, this window is 300 and this window is of 72 so resolution matters a lot while you are going to design uh, anything on a new window or whatever so here comes so this was the new uh, open open as you all know open is used to open any window or file etc browsing bridge so it is an adobe bridge in which we can open uh, i don't have right now in laptop but it is used that when you come from a like a shoot you have hundreds of thousands of pics you are open in browser you can open that in browse in bridge and then you can uh, all the uh, uh, mainly not all the photos of shoot are in use some of them are useless so you can open in browse and bridge and then select which you want to open in photoshop you will select them and open it one and uh, uh, then click it ok and they will start opening in photoshop one by one after that uh, open recent the thing which you opened uh, recently like i this this is a file which i opened um, today so this is uh, it is showing me the thing which i opened today close close simply like control plus w like if you want to close this uh, uh, control plus w and that's it close next close all it will close all the documents like if you have opened um, this document uh, this there's three documents totally uh, you will select close all and it will close all the documents uh, i will not close this document okay so next here comes the save button save control as everyone knows save and save as functions save for web uh, like uh, it will save your document for web like it will ask you for its uh, jpeg it will ask for your format even it's for jpeg jf etc blur quality quality of photo uh, convert to uh, red, uh, red rgb stand to red green blue etc image size pixels etc and then you can save it for web normally i don't use this function i will i use save as next comes the place place is a thing which uh, uh, like you can place any document open there the great difference between open and place in open you can uh, you click on open and uh, like this is a document and it has opened 
like you open click on open and it comes in a new document like this and if you click on place it will place your document right exact in this file okay so here you go the file has been opened in your desired document uh, so I will delete this file next comes the import this is used to import like uh, if you I haven't used this function export uh, like if you are working on a Photoshop and you want to move your file or anything to Illustrator you can click on this paths document bounds okay so your my file is saved and it can be opened it can be opened exactly in the layers like this in Adobe Illustrator exactly like this in the Adobe Illustrator like you can see it's recommending me the file format of Adobe Illustrator AI log like when I open when I will open this file in Adobe Illustrator it will open like this exactly in layers in that uh, after and export like when you are done with the uh, video editing you can click on render video when you have I, it is not a video this is a photo format like when you open a video and then edit it after editing you are going to click on render video and you can save it in any format because uh, render video uh, because video cannot be saved exactly from save as or save option it can be saved from uh, exporting option and then going to render video after that automate uh, I don't know all of them but the things I know I will tell you okay so here comes the automate option automate I haven't used any of them till now but the thing is but let's click on it and see what's this uh, okay so this is the batch option which are mostly used actions like this like I have uh, uh, actions of greater than gets by the carbon tree collection uh, I have only this and there are photoshop default collection like which these are mostly uh, you can say these are effects type things uh, which we use in uh, for editing so this is the effects thing next comes uh, automate option uh, PDF presentation uh, like Adobe, Adobe Reader presentations uh, create droplet Uh, I don't know about this function crop and straighten photo like if you have taken off uh, I will I will tell you in next lecture about this contact sheet to no idea condition what in fit image like it will fit image in your project document photo merge photo mode is mostly used to create panoramas in Photoshop uh, panoramas in Photoshop I will uh, tell you later about this first of all we have to make ourselves known of every function file info it will get the file info of the file like print print etc so this was all about today's lecture don't forget to subscribe my channel to get notified about my upcoming videos thanks for watching this video Allah Hafiz